welcome back. We have another review to do on a push mower from PowerSmart. Now, right off the bat, the I'm looking at the picture, and the um, the model number does not match either one of these over here, but it sure is looking like this may actually be a, another red 209cc vertical shaft push mower. I mean, I'm just looking here at the box. It, is it 209cc and huh well let's open it up and find out if it's red and then if it is we'll start trying to spot the differences alrighty we got the box open and already I'm spotting a difference you see the bag is gray and the bags on those are black and let's look under the bag to see what color oh i'm seeing another difference the top of the mower is black whereas those are red and then the deck is red i'm looking at the front piece is black the front piece on these is also black all right so it has a black top and a gray bag already two differences let's get the whole thing out of the box and take a look at the whole thing okay so here's a look at it out of the box and it is very clearly the same mowers with uh, slight differences now the bags here I actually pulled the bag off one of the other ones just to see if somehow it's a different size and it is not it's the same size bag same bag just a different color and that is an option you know people do want particular colors on their lawnmower so it's nice that there is a variety looking over here the first thing i want to check for yep it's there see it that is a secret oil bottle that is where they ship the oil and so you've got to put that oil into the uh, crankcase before you you mow and take the cover off the gas tank anyway uh so to put this together it is as easy as clipping these ties where am i clipping these ties and then you simply lift the handle we can just straighten it out, tighten down those, put a couple of bolts in there, and there, and those come in the bag with the instructions and the wrench. It's a put it together wrench, you stick the shaft through the uh, hole there and it becomes a wrench. And then a couple of clamps to hold the cables, the, uh, hold the cable to the handlebar. And that is all there is to it, and then you're ready to mow. Let me get all that done, and let's take another look. All right, and there it is all together. It has the oil in there. I forgot to mention that when you fill the oil, you put the entire bottle in. It's the right amount for the crankcase, and you put it right in there uh, under that cap. And that right there is another difference that I spotted. From the other ones the other ones have orange caps or whatever color that is and then this one has a yellow cap so if you like yellow oil caps this is the mower for you for sure otherwise I don't see any other differences if you're wondering if the uh, wheels are the same color they actually are the same color they're all gray on all of them except for the electric one it's black but uh, i also forgot to mention that it came comes with its own funnel so that you can get the oil in there and at this point oh yeah point out that the bolts are in where they go they're in there and then these are tied down and i have the clip in place and the clip is to keep that cable out of your way when you're picking up the, uh, taking the bag on and putting it back off, 
or taking it off and putting it back on. Now this is a push mower. This is not a self-propelled mower. And here's the giveaway. You've got a kill lever. This is a safety lever, but you have no lever on the bottom side. Whereas if it was self-propelled, you would have an upper bar and a lower bar. And then just like the previous one that I did, has only the safety bar and no propulsion. So out of the three of them, only this one is self-propelled, but it's also very self-propelled. So that is like probably the best one of the three because it pulls itself. And then the other ones are true push mowers where all of the power of the engine goes to the blade rather than splitting for the transmission. So at this point, we're gonna throw it on the trailer and go to the yard. And we're gonna demonstrate the bagging and the side discharge and the mulching capability, but I am have a good idea how that's gonna go. It's gonna go just fine. It's gonna be extremely capable. This mower is an absolute animal. And then after we're done showing the basics, we'll take it out in the field and uh, uh, we'll see if we can stall it out or challenge it uh, more than the last time. I, I went through some really thick stuff with the other two and it wasn't enough. So here is the uh, third chance at that. And uh, next scene will be in somebody's yard. Okay, here we go. As you can see, we're going to be mowing just a few little white flowers. Conditions are kind of dry, but I think that we can still test it pretty good. And trust me, we will be going to some thicker stuff. So we're gonna start with the bagger attachment. We're gonna run it up and down here once and see what ends up in the bag. It did just fine, as you saw. Little flowers going in, and they're still in there, including a piece of paper. It did just fine. And the other two bagged really good, too. So anyway, at this point, let's close that hatch all the way, and let's do some mulching. Well, look at that over there. It's actually kind of striping pretty nice. See if I can uh, lay down some stripes here. I'm going to do a larger area. And by the way, you guys, don't worry about it being hard to push. It is really, really easy to push.
Well, look at these stripes. It's actually an optical illusion that just happens at a particular time of day. I think that all lawnmowers do it. But we got them on camera today. And so I like that. Anyway. So now we're going to move on to the side chute. And we're going to move to a thicker part of the yard to show that. And to do that, you got to flip up that little door there. And hook this up underneath there. And then you got it on. Hopefully you can see this here. See where it hooks under? Little hooks on the chute go up underneath that bar. And then this door holds it on. And you're good to go. So now we got the side chute on. And let's go to the thick grass. Actually, you'll have to forgive me. There is no thick, thick grass in this yard. But trust me, like I was saying, we're going to some thick grass. But we'll demonstrate this here. Okay, so good news, the side chute works. Mower didn't seem to want to go backwards. Started acting up a little bit when we were going backwards. I have no idea why. But does a fine job. And that wraps it up for this yard. I'm going to do the rest of it with the cheetah because it's kind of a big yard. But then we will head off to the field and mow some serious stuff. Okay, so here we are again in my favorite field for testing. And we are going to run this thing through the gamut. If you guys remember, just very recently I was reviewing a string trimmer. And we had come over to this cluster of weeds. I was calling it weeds till I got closer to it. And realized these are saplings. And so it wasn't going to work with the string trimmer. And so I wasn't able to do it, but today I got a lawnmower, so we're going to start here. And we are going to mow this whole cluster of saplings.
dropped it. Okay, so if that's not enough of a test for it, I don't even know. It did actually stop. Let me go over to the second section over here where it stopped so I can show you what stopped it. You gotta, I mean, I went in it, into it too fast. If I had gone, it, like I, I went right back into it slower and it did it. But we got everything's half inch here. And, uh, Nope, I'm in the wrong section. It was over here. It was this one right here. This is an inch. That one, as you can see, it split it. And uh, this is the type of thing that my uh, brush mower does. Or, you know, the cheetah, of course, would sail right through this. But it is a commercial mower. And this is supposed to be a residential mower. But what I keep on pointing out is that 209 cc's... Wow, look at all that. Yeah, so this is uh, not recommended. This is uh, this is the torture test to show that uh, if it can do this, then it can mow regular grass, uh, even thick grass. But uh, 209 cc is a big engine, and this unique way that they have this downward shaft, I believe, is what's giving it a lot of extra power. Of course, this one doesn't have a transmission, so all the power is going to the blade, and it's able to do something like this. This is ridiculous. Absolutely amazing. And we got lots of other things to, uh, there's palmettos over there. Let's go get them.
Okay, so I hope you guys are satisfied. Yeah, it stalled it out once, but that was a palmetto. Let me find this stump. And if I had gone slower, here we go. Okay. Look at this, guys. This is not a brush mower. And it did that. The whole palmetto. Albeit a small one, but good grief. Now, of course, the... Okay, so the skirt on the back came off. We've talked about this before. They're not attached very well. I think that under a uh, normal load, it would probably stay on, but it's understandable that it came off for this one. And if you look at the... Uh, we mulched that. That was not... We lost the side chute way over there on the saplings. And so we just mulched a uh, palmetto. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. That's just awesome. So I'm loving these mowers. I'm keeping all three of them. I'm not going to sell these. And we are going to have a lot more fun with these coming up. Uh, that's about it for today. I actually don't want to break it and if I keep doing this I'm just gonna keep doing it until I break it and then I'm gonna be sad So I'm gonna Leave it alone So it's a wonderful mower. It's just a little bit strong and You can go get one. It's got the uh, Yellow dipstick that everybody wants So uh, I'll put the link in the description for the uh, website and for the Amazon link so you can go off and get one trust me it's a good one all right thanks for watching y'all and have a good one